This situation has put our peacekeepers at serious risk. This conflict began with a decision made by Hassan Nasrallah. It was Nasrallah who chose to tie his fate and that of Hezbollah with Hamas. This situation has put our peacekeepers at serious risk. Clashes in the Labune slash Nakura area since the 8th of October has, have involved tank and small arms fire, airstrikes, Iron Dome interceptions and multiple explosions. Two peacekeepers were wounded when earlier today a UN post, OP-14, in Unifil's headquarters in Nakura was hit by tank fire. Previously, I have highlighted that Hezbollah activities in the vicinity of UN positions held the potential to draw return fire. Now, we face a similar situation with the Israel Defense Forces installing positions directly ad adjacent to UN positions, a development that we strongly protest. The security environment has also presented challenges for the resupply of fuel, food and water for UN positions. The deconfliction of Unifil logistics movements remains paramount. The mission is monitoring the security and sustainability of each of its positions, especially those on the blue line, ad adjusting accordingly. <laughs> Unifil operational activities have virtually come to a halt since 23rd of, of September. Peacekeepers have been confined to their bases with significant periods of time in shelter. This severe impediment to the mission's freedom of movement within the area of operation has limited the mission's monitoring and reporting ability. Grazie a tutti. Nell'ambito della manovra che le forze israeliane stanno gli atti ostili compiuti e reiterati dalle forze eh, israeliane contro la base UNP 131 eh, potrebbero costituire crimini di guerra e sicuramente rappresentano delle gravissime violazioni alle norme del diritto internazionale umanitario. Sicuramente violazioni non giustificate da alcuna necessità militare. Ma quello che è successo ieri e oggi è totalmente inaccettabile. is not only to use maximum restraints but to cease the fire. Uh, this is a, a, a conflict that has been killed more than 2,000 people. In the last couple of weeks uh, uh, over a thousand people have been killed and if you think that the conflict in 2006 uh, 1,200 people were killed and only in a few days uh, more than the conflict in 2006. So this is incredibly serious. We are not only urging the parties but it's also important for the international community to see it as a priority and that there is no military solution. The only solution is political and diplomatic. This conflict began with a decision made by Hassan Nasrallah. It was Nasrallah who chose to tie his fate and that of Hezbollah with Hamas. He linked the war with the one Hamas has waged against Israel knowing full well that it would bring suffering upon Lebanon and Israel. And this council was warned. 
On September 20, I stood before you and urged you to act before it was too late. I told you, and I quote, when the time comes, do not look to us for blame in protecting our people. Now is your time to speak up and act before we have to. Your silence has forced our hand. Council members, look to the future and the reality we all strive for. A future without Hezbollah terrorizing Israel and Lebanon. A sovereign, sovereign Lebanon and the future of calm. If this is the future you truly seek, there is only one path forward implementing Resolution 1701 and 1559, demand that the Lebanese army and UNIFIL finally fulfill their obligations and take up the tasks they are mandated to carry out, support Israel in our necessary operations to push Hezbollah back to the Litani River. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.